Our next guest is George Hirsch, and there's a G on his shirt, but it's not for George. Welcome to the show. How are you? Doing well, Donna. Thanks for having me. So I see you're representing. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about your shirt. Yeah, I uh, represent the University of Georgia. Figured it's uh, a good time. It's my alma mater, and they just made it to the college football playoff as one of the best four teams in the nation. So couldn't really miss this opportunity to get my plug in. There you go. <laughs> and because you were there, mm -hmm. you uh, decided to write The College Man's Cookbook. So tell us about this. What is this book? Yeah, no, great question. So while I was at University of Georgia, you know, I lived with five other guys. We had six total guys in, a, in an apartment with one small kitchen. Um, so I realized that a lot of them didn't really know how to, you know, cook on their own. Everything from the basics of shopping to, you know, how to cook a chicken breast or a steak. So um, my mom being, you know, big in, the, big in the kitchen and me growing up with her as her sous chef, uh, we came up with uh, 100 different recipes to help college males, you know, work their way around the kitchen and save some money and, and have a fun time doing it. That's excellent. And all on a budget, because like like we were talking about uh, in the green room, a lot of times they just eat ramen noodles. Exactly. But you said you have what? A recipe in here? We do. We, we spiced up the ramen noodles a little bit. We wanted to make sure that we kept the classic college staples like ramen noodles, but it's a uh, ramen noodles renaissance. So, you know, it adds a little bit of spices, herbs, some, some meat, if you'd like. So I uh, didn't want to lose the, the the college feel and, and get too high end, so we have a nice mix of everything in there. Now, who is this book dedicated to? Is it dedicated to some of your college friends too, or no? Yeah, so it I is? definitely give my roommates a shout out in that because they did a lot of taste testing and, and a lot of trial and error with different recipes, but it is actually dedicated to my mom just because no way I could have done it without her. You know, she's a, she's a food writer and I grew up in the kitchen with her, so we worked really hard on this and, and definitely dedicated to her. And through the serendipity of life, that's how we got to meet, was through your mom. Yeah, that I is. I mean, she's an amazing person. She is. Um, and your dad, too, got involved. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's actually, it's a family cookbook. You know, my mom being the, the food writer and great chef, and, and her and I co-wrote the, the recipes and the blurbs to make sure that it was in college vernacular. But my dad is actually a professional photographer and videographer, so he did all the pictures in it and, uh, you know, the post-production. So it really was a family effort and really would not have been able to do it without either of them. These look good. Yeah, those, you can't go wrong with some french fries, some yeah. homemade french fries. Ooh, they look <laughs> yeah. good. So I like that too. I like the picture so that you can kind of tell what it's kind of supposed to look like. Exactly. Right? Because, you know, you go into a recipe and you're just like, you have an idea as to what it might look like. But when you have a final product before starting, you can at least, you know, know if you're doing well so far as you go. Right, the olive goes here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know exactly where to place the tomatoes. And I like that you said <laughs> that it's done like in a college, uh, because I told you I have uh, Andrew who's 27, Elise who's 24, and then mm -hmm. I have Matthew who's 12 um, and I like the fact that it's pretty easy it just tells you exactly to do what to do wash the potatoes you put a, the aluminum foil over here mm -hmm. you do this you do that done exactly you Voila. know we wanted to make sure we had every detail in there because it is meant for college males who you know don't really know too much about it so no detail was too small to include and we want to make sure that at the end of it you know you feel like you, you graduated there's actually a diploma at the end of the cookbook um, that, that allows you to <laughs> say I've cooked everything in this in this book so it's it was a I've nice graduated touch. right exactly and you know what a lot of times too when you want to have friends over mm -hmm. and you are on a budget but you want to do something impressive like maybe it's Valentine's Day or something and you right. want to cook for your special sweetheart yeah it's in there. That's in there. It's all in there. Yeah. So it's like how to, how to do really well. Exactly. And that, that was one of the main things we wanted to do. So it is 100 recipes, 10 different chapters. Each chapter is actually a different sort of situation or, you know, part of a meal, everything from appetizers, soups to entrees and desserts. But then we also have, you know, chapter one is hangover helper or chapter 10 is impress the rents. <laughs> so it's different situations that you know you're gonna need a cookbook in. It's, um, a, lot, it's a lot of fun. Um, this is available in a few places. Where can they get them? Yeah, so it's available on amazon.com for only $19.95, and then it's also available on Barnes & Noble on their online store as well for $19.95. And you also have a female version coming out, right? Yes, we actually have the college women's cookbook coming out shortly, so that'll be a good one to look forward to. Excellent, you know what? Thank you very much for joining us. I'm just gonna find a little recipe here. Uh, let me see, let, let, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look for a good one. Oh, they're all so good. I can't decide. I can't decide. I can't decide. Oh, wait. Wait. Here's one. Okay, guys, I'm going to recommend this. This is the one that I'm going to recommend. A main course. What is this? That is actually our uh, sriracha teriyaki bowl. That's great. what I'm having. Great for a main course. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Live it up.